Good morning, beautiful people. How are you guys doing? This is Daisy outside the building. Hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys three amazing culture shocks for me uh, living in Dubai as a Nigerian. Okay, so number one will be, okay, in no particular order, number one will be um, the fact that people here do not greet. You heard me right. They do not greet. Oh my God. <laughs> Now, if you walk into an organization, you walk into uh, anywhere and uh, you greet, good morning, dead silence. Nobody responds to you. Nobody replies to you. That is really weird for me. Um, even if you walk into anywhere and you don't even greet, it's actually okay. Nobody's going to fault you. Nobody's going to look at you like, oh, you did not greet. That is really weird. Um, in Nigeria, where I come from, yeah, in Nigeria, where I come from, we greet good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Even when you want to go sleep, you say good night, okay? So as a matter of fact, if you do not greet in Nigeria, you are seen as a very disrespectful person. So it's actually a very shocking thing for me, like living in a country where people do not really fancy or do not really see the need to greet or even respond to people's greetings. Oh my God, it's very shocking. Anyway, places that I have been to, places in Africa, I know so well that Africans do really greet. Places I've been to in Africa, people are warm, they greet, they say good morning, like Kenya, Ethiopia, uh, Benin Republic, you know, Nigerians greet. Like, so it's actually very shocking for me that people here do not see the need to greet. Yeah, so anyway, Anyway, number two for me would be hmm, the fact that <laughs> the fact that um, the f number two would be the fact that you know when you're in your apartment, you're in your room, somebody comes to ring your bell or knock on your door, and then you are inside, you're busy saying, "Who's there? Who's that? Who's there? Who's that?" And then nobody bothers to respond. The person behind the door doesn't say it's me or it's a social person. They just stand there. They keep knocking and knocking. And then you might even increase your volume. Who's there? Who's that? Who's there? Who's that? And then nobody bothers to answer. They're still there knocking on the door. In Nigeria, where I come from, when there is a knock on the door and all the bell rings, the person behind the door says, who is that or who is there? No, you will say, who is that or who is there? And then the person behind the door will say, it's me. Or they might say, it's me Adeze, it's me Ifoma, it's me Chike. They identify who they are behind the door. And then we know that we know the person behind the door. We're expecting this person. Then that is what makes us open the door. In Nigeria, we do not open the door unless we know who is behind the door. So here, it is actually shocking for me because even if it's not a cultural thing for you in your country, like, okay, who's there? Who's that? At least you understand English, right? You understand the question, who's there? Who is that? You answer the question, it is me. If, you, if you're someone that the person is expecting, definitely they will open the door. I can't open the door if I don't know who's behind the door. You feel me? So they will keep knocking and knocking, and then you are busy shouting, who's there, who's that, who's there, who's there, who's there, who's there? And then they would not even bother to say it's me, or I'm the one, or I'm the delivery guy. They just keep knocking, and then when you keep quiet, you stop asking them, and then silence, they go away. You feel me? So I don't bother opening the door to be honest with you because once I don't, if I don't know who's behind the door, there is no need to open the door because that's the way it is in Nigeria and that's how I grew up. Anyway, number three culture shock for me would be the fact that um, it's this one is very weird to me. It's the fact that um, people here, uh, I don't know how to put it, like culturally, everybody tends to stay by their own nationality. How do I put it? Okay, every nationality stays together. For example, Filipinos. I'll drop my back. <laughs> for example, for example, the Filipinos, they always love to be together. They don't like to mingle. For example, the Indians as well, they like to be by themselves. They don't mingle. The Arabs, they like to be by the Arabs. It's very weird because where I come from in Nigeria, where I come from, we can relate with anybody we can relate with. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter what country you're from, what state, what whatever. We are always ready to mingle. So it's actually shocking for me that people stay by their, themselves. Like Arabs together, Indians together, 
Filipinos together. And because as Africans, we are not used to it. We are forced to get used to it. So you stay with your community only. It is weird. I think it is very weird. I forgot to add that for pe- for the greeting part, people who actually really greet the most, yes, that I know of are one, Africans. When they greet, those are the people that, that, that I actually see that say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Like Africans and Westerners, people from like the UK, uh, the, the Europeans in general, uh, Americans, Canadians, you know, the Westerners generally, they say good morning. Yeah, and the Africans also, they greet. So these are the two people. I think it's a cultural thing too for the Westerners. It's a cultural thing too for us in Africa, especially Nigeria that I know of, yeah. So coming down to, um, coming back to um, uh, nationalities sticking to themselves. I don't get it. Socially, how can you make friends? How can you, <laughs> well, it's fantastically shocking for me because I don't see how people can socially engage if everyone is sticking by their nationalities and sticking to people from the same culture, sticking to people from the same religion alone. That is really weird and very, very shocking for me. Anyway, this is it from me today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like this video, subscribe, comment, and I'll be very, very, very happy to read from you. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day, everybody. Have an amazing day, everybody. I love you all. Say bye-bye. <laughs>